to what could be a major breakthrough in the fight against cancer. Doctors treating three leukemia patients with modified white blood cells that relentlessly attack the disease, the cells so deadly to cancer, some are calling them serial killer cells. Two of the three patients that have been tested have seen their cancer completely disappear, and in the third, the cancer reduced by 70%. Here now, Dr. Stephen Garner, he's with New York Methodist Hospital. It's absolutely an amazing study, but we have to, con uh, we have to uh, tell people it's very small. It's a small study, and we only a year out, but it's an amazing study. I think it's the number one study of the year, actually, because we always thought we could do this, but never did it in fact. And here we are training the body's own cells to go out and kill cancer. So basically what the researchers did is they removed white blood cells from these patients, right? right? Mm -hmm. And then it's very interesting. They actually took a modified version of the AIDS virus well, they and to, injected it. They need to make a genetic change in, the, in these cells. So they took the cells out, and in that virus they put all the changes, and then the, the, it enters the cell. That's what a virus does and takes over. So they were able to set up the type of cell they wanted it to be, and it's a ferocious cell. It goes out and kills a 1,000 or more cancer cells, one little cell. So these uh, leukemia patients are, are the ones that were tested. They were near death, essentially. They were dead. They, were, they had two weeks to live. And, and they got this treatment, and what happened? They're still alive now. Two of them are totally disease-free. One of them has slight signs of the disease. Um, their cancer dissipated, disappeared in a matter of, t of two, three weeks. We're talking about six pounds of cancer just, just going nowhere, just, just dis disintegrating. Because these white blood cells, these engineered white blood cells, essentially, as were described, became serial killers. They roam through the blood, st blood stream and hunt down these cancers. And in the genetic change, they put what they can call their friends, other T cells, and they come over and help out when they have a problem. So now you have all these T cells descending. Plus, it also said multiply. So when you, you put in 100 T cells, you end up with 1,000 T cells. So now you, and then there are also memory T cells that they remember and stick around for a year or two mm. and therefore keep the cancer from recurring. Amazing stuff. Rick has been asking our viewers if they have questions about this, and uh, they do, and I guess Dr. Dr. Garner uh, has some answers, we hope. Well, people weighing in, they want to know about specific kinds of cancers, John and Dr. Gardner. Billy Green wants to know if this could potentially help folks with lung cancer, and Kathleen Shute, for example, uh, who has bladder cancer right now, wants to know if this might be able to help her. This, right now, we know that it's going to help lung, ovarian, multiple myeloma, and um, melanoma. Those are the cancers and, uh, that are similar. To and obviously leukemia. the leukemia. And right. the leukemias. But this is the prototype. This is the roadmap that will develop t to cure the other cancers, like bladder cancer and breast cancer. Because we can train cells now of anybody, take the white cells out, and train them to kill whatever their cancer is. This is very specific therapy. Unlike what we do now is kind of barbaric, where we kill all the cells with chemotherapy, right. good cells and bad cells. This is targeted and radiation. And right. radiation. This is targeted at specific cells and specific tumors. Amazing stuff and, and really positive, a really positive development. But you know what's scary? That this almost didn't happen because they didn't have funding? Yeah. Can you imagine no pharmaceuticals wanted to do it, National Institute of Health didn't want to do it? Unfortunately, a couple who, whose who child died of leukemia child. gave the money. And that's how they were able to pay for it. Yeah. What a lucky break, really. Really. Dr. Garner, always good to talk to you. Thanks. What, Jenna? A, what an incredible story. I, it's just stunning to listen to that, what a breakthrough that can be. Uh, we'll continue to watch that story. I know that's so important to so many of you out there, and we'll, we'll keep you up to date as we hear more about that. In the meantime, we have to turn.